Hi everyone, welcome back, Base Leg Aviation. I've got a really special video for you this morning. You know, I'm always doing videos for you, showing you how to fix something or talking about some aspect of flight safety. And this week I had the opportunity to go out to Portland, Oregon, and uh, spend some time with my favorite avionics manufacturer, Advanced Flight Systems. You know, Rob Hickman, Jen Hickman, and their family, I've just known them for 20 plus years and have used a lot of their equipment in my aircraft as well as installing their stuff in customers' aircraft. It's just really, really great product. But more importantly, it's about the people. You know, everything we do in this aviation side of having fun is really there because of the people, whether it's vans, Dynon, advanced flight systems, etc. It's quality people that make the difference. And while I was there, it dawned on me and I said, you know what, let's show everybody how great these people are what their product is, what their operation looks like. So that's the little feature film here you're gonna see from me this morning, okay? And it's not meant to be a commercial, but it is meant to help you understand the enthusiasm from the people that goes into the creation of the advanced flight systems products. Every time I go there, I just walk away really excited to have spent time with them. I hope you'll feel the same when you're done watching this. Have fun. Hi everyone. I bet you'll never guess where I'm at. I'm at one of my favorite avionics shops, absolutely my favoriteest avionics shop in the whole world at Advanced Flight Systems. I had a chance to be out here in Oregon and uh, they did a good job of stopping the rain. So that's pretty exciting. It's actually gorgeous out here. But uh, why is it my favorite company? Well, you know, I've been flying with their equipment in my aircraft for I don't know, probably 20 years now, would probably, be my guess. Early, early days. Yeah, early days. And, and uh, many of you know, I just put a 6600 in uh, my helicopter, which is working wonderfully. Matter of fact, it's working so wonderfully, I'm putting two of them in my RV-10. So I'm kind of out here, gee, how's that coming along? But uh, it's just really great stuff. It's, uh, you know, family here that has the same values that many of us have. They're very much wrapped up in the business themselves. They've got all of their family in other aviation companies, right? <laughs> and in-laws. <laughs> yeah, and in-laws too. <laughs> to advance, dine on, et cetera kind of thing. But you know what's really cool, and I think the neatest thing that's just been a great experience for me with advanced flight systems, and all, I don't know, maybe 5,000 hours now flying behind advanced flight system wow. stuff, I think about it. Never once have I ever called Rob or Ken, maybe we'll get a chance to see Ken while we're here <laughs> too, right? <laughs> Said, hey, I think I got a problem here. And never once do I hear, oh, we've not seen that. It's always immediate. Mm, let us look at it. And usually the next day or so, I've got a fix. That's pretty exciting. And I've not seen that with any other provider ever. So anyway, cool stuff. I'll let them say hello, and then we'll walk around and show you some neat things. All right. First, I'm going to forgive you for saying Oregon. <laughs> You're right. Yes. So here in Oregon, we're happy to have you, Ben. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm happy to be here, too. And, of course, I wish I had an office like this. I just have to go get in my airplane. <laughs> but that's to die for, isn't it? Pretty, pretty exciting. So anyway, maybe we can go. We can take a quick tour. And go see how this stuff is All made, right. huh? Well, let's All right, go. great. Hi, Ken. Hello. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. So, as I mentioned a minute ago, every time I call with a problem, it gets fixed. <laughs> Guess who fixes it? I do my best. Ken. Oh, you do more than your best. <laughs> this is really wonderful. Here's another guy with a great office. Really cool. But seriously, thanks for all you do, Ken. It's just wonderful stuff. Well, thank you. Yes. Right. One of the things I don't think I mentioned in the intro was one of the other things that's been so cool with all the five or 6,000 hours I have behind advanced light systems, I've never had an in-flight failure. Really? Yeah. Excellent. That's why my trust is so much in this product. That's excellent. No, oh, thank you. Well, Anything you want to say to everybody? Hey, we're just trying to make it better. Let us know when you, you know, what, uh, what you want that uh, can make the product better and make your life easier. Cool. Our goal is to make your uh, your flight as as easy and simple and, and uneventful as possible. That well, that's cool, and you're doing a bang up job. Well, thank you. Thanks. My pleasure. See ya. So where are we at now? So this is out in our shop. This is where we do all the panel assembly, manufacturing of the ethoses, um, 
There's multiple panels on the shelves over there that are kitted and ready for assembly. Wow, are one of those mine? Uh, yours is not there yet. <laughs> we'll get to yours. I have to ask. This is Pat over here. Pat's an A&P mechanic and he does oh, wow. all the panel assembly. This is an RV10 panel. Hi, Pat. Going to Australia. Yes. This one's going, going to Australia. Australia. It's about ready to ship. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. I'm jealous. And this has got 6600s in it and a 5700 in the middle. It's got the Aerosport black carbon fiber panel in it with their new blue LED switches. Oh, that's beautiful. So you actually put them together here and make certain all, they work before they go out the door. We put them together here. We do all the testing. We have a test cart. Is this one you, this one's not to it yet, but we have a test cart. Antennas on the roof. Everything is hooked up, tested, so it's all ready to go. Not only for panels, but what we do as a panelist. So this is a Skyview HDX panel that we aren't actually doing the panel, but we will pre-configure the EFIS, all the harnesses, everything, and then we'll ship this to the customer. For some reason, they want to cut their own panel. Oh, that's neat. So everything's done here, harnesses, the testing, the configuration. So when the customer gets it, it's ready to go. So one of the things maybe everybody knows, but just to highlight is, so we see you got nice advanced screens here and you also have Dynon equipment here. Yeah, so we're part of What's Dynon. the advantage? So we're part of Dynon. We offer both uh, HDX or the F6600 and it's kind of customer choice what they want. So we have two different options and for each customer they can pick. And so what's the commonality? How can you do both? So everything besides the screen is identical. All the back end equipment, this is our advanced control module. It's really the electrical system for the airplane. It's all electronic circuit breakers. It makes all the avionics plug and play. So in this case, he does not have a GPS navigator. We can actually add a GPS navigator anytime just by plugging it in later on. But you could unplug a HDX screen from this panel and plug in an AFS screen and they're interchangeable as far as all the back end equipment. It's all Dynon a harses engine monitors, transponders, everything is Dynon. So we just have two screen options, our HDX and our F6600. That's really impressive. Ta here is actually doing all the harnesses. So this is where all the harnesses are done. He, um, <laughs> he has a computerized um, cable tester. So every cable he makes and harness is run through the computerized tester that tests every pin, connections, and the whole thing. So when you actually get the harness, it's tested and you know it works. Wow, that's neat. Mark. Yeah. Started in March. This is Rhonda. Rhonda handles all of a, a lot of purchasing, kitting. She talks to the customers as far as getting all of these kits for every customer here. She gets them ready to go. So then when we actually do a panel assembly, everything's there. So she handles all the inventory and she's been here since March. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm jealous get to work at a neat place like this. This oh, is exciting. I love it. Aviation is fun. Okay. Where'd you come from? Uh, I came from Columbia Helicopters, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Neat. I'm here. I'm the only one with a helicopter screen yeah. so far. We're going to fix that. I was watching your videos yesterday, actually. Oh, neat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Well, now you can watch yourself on one. Oh, <laughs> Go. This is Sam. Sam does all of the EFAS testing or EFAS assembly work, uh, repairs, and he also is our head machinist. So here, oh wow, Sam, what are you machining? Uh, we're making bezels. So this is actually a bezel. All of our stuff is actually made in house. We machine the bezels, the heat sinks. We have a bridge port, multi-axis CNC here. So the, they come in as aluminum block and go out as an EFAS. Wow, that's cool. A lot of chips. Wow. You put a lot of smile on faces. I try. You know. <laughs> That's neat. Oh, this is Toyland. Over here then is an RV-12. So we're actually building a um, company RV-12 that the employees will be able to use for um, learn to fly, keep current, but it's a, it'll be a flying club for the employees. Boy, that's really neat. Wow. Dwayne's been working on this, one of our engineers, and he's actually made really good progress. But the workmanship looks gorgeous. Yeah, he's done a good job on it. Wow. We have a Abbey at Flightline Interiors actually made the whole interior. It's got our logos in the seat. It's all put away, but yeah, it's... Wow. So what screens are you going to have in it? Um, we are trying to decide. It'll probably have 6600s in it. Dwayne's been working on making them fit. 
<laughs> Great. So. Oh, good. Oh. Wait, wait. Okay. Okay, all the panels are cut on our CNC router. So we put this in a few years ago. We used to sub out all the panel cutting and now all of that is done in house. So every panel is done here on our router and then the labeling for the panel is actually done on our laser. Oh wow. So every panel, um, we send them out for powder coat or paint. They come back, they get lasered. The, all the labeling gets lasered onto it. Um, this is another Aerosport RB10 panel going together here. This one has not been labeled yet, so it'll be labeled today. How long does it take, Rob, from a panel coming in to you being able to get one out the door completely so done? Once we actually, since we use pre-made harnesses and all the wiring, the actual test and assembly only takes a couple days. Wow. So that panel over there, um, Pat started putting it together, I think, two days ago, and it'll be torn down today and shipped. That's impressive. So, yeah, all the... You can see all the harnesses. We have stock harnesses for different radios, different avionics. So basically, Rhonda pulls all the kits from pre-built, pre-tested harnesses. You put them all together, and we run it through the test, and then they ship. So we don't have to do a whole lot of wiring. It's pre-done. Wow. It so also makes it easier to upgrade and to fix things. So if some, you say you want to put a different radio in, we can send you a different harness for it. Wow. Or if you have a problem, you can take the harness out, send it to us, or troubleshoot it on the bench, put it back in the plane. So it makes it much easier for upgrades and repair. Boy, anybody thinking about a Christmas stocking stuffer? <laughs> <laughs> There's potential there. And now we're in Trisha's office. Trisha has been with Advanced Flight for... Since 2007. Wow. Time goes by so it goes quickly. by so fast. So when you call up and order parts, or maybe you need some help of any kind, Trisha is mm -hmm. probably the one that you're going to talk to first. I know mm -hmm. customers love her, and Thank you. we do too. <laughs> so and I would agree with yes. that. Well, the responsiveness, have, especially uh, from the oh, two of you, is just yeah. mind-boggling. Oh, I love my customers. That's my favorite part of the job is, is talking with my customers. So that's why I'm still here. <laughs> Everybody says, why don't you retire? Because I love to work here. So. It's Toyland, isn't it? it is, oh, for me, absolutely. <laughs> and you know what? I grew up with my dad, and he'd take me to the hardware store. Favorite thing is to pick parts. And guess what I get to do here? Oh. I pick parts all day long. So that's always fun, counting out the screws and the hardware. That's too funny. Good for it you. Is. Yeah, no, I connected right away. She handles all the shipping, shipping all the sales. international malarkey that you have to go through for yes. that. She just handles, Trisha can handle anything. When we're all gone in Oshkosh, she stays in. Yes. I hold down the fort. That's always yeah. my job. That's and great. I get to do Jenny's job and go to the post office. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I do more than go to the post office. <laughs> I was going to say. The only job I can do that you do is go to the post office and I don't invoice anybody. Uh, yeah. yeah. We are a well greased machine, all of us. We've, uh, we've all been yes. doing this for so long, and I don't think we even appreciate the fact that we just do what we do and everybody. Like I said, it's just a well greased machine. And well, anybody can kind of jump into anybody else's other than engineering, anybody else's job and handle what needs That's to be. That's impressive. Handled. That's really good. It's like family. I mean, Ken, I think he was your first employee. Yeah. And then I think I, and then we had Travis in there and then yeah. I think I was hired and wow. loved it. I was just part time to just help and then it turned into full time, so that was she was exciting. part of the aviation community we knew. Right. Her before. Yeah. So she was, mm -hmm. she knew about the craziness of yes. and having helped aviation. Build the RV6. And yes. so then I can talk to customers to a certain extent from a technical basis simply because I've been there, done that, know what it looks like. And that, that's really helped too. So the enthusiasm of everybody here really comes through from the time you walk in the door. Matter of fact, I was just trying to sit in the car and not bother anybody. <laughs> Everybody who walked by just wouldn't let me sit there. Uh, it was, it, okay, and yeah, it's just, you've just got an amazing operation. It shows in the product, it shows in the people, and just want to say thank you. You're very welcome. Okay. Love it. <laughs> this is Kyle. Kyle is our panel manager, customer, interface he kind of handles all the panels here or um, he actually the one that actually talks to everybody kyle moved down two years ago from dynon yep. 
he was in Dynon Sales and he moved to Oregon and has kind of taken over all the panel sales and building, assembling the panel shop. Um, why don't you, Kyle, show him what you in. do? And so this is a, a demo panel we look at very frequently. Uh, this has one of the advanced EFSs and one of the HDX EFSs in kind of the basic setting that the panel normally looks. This is something we use to help people compare and decide which is right for them. We could look at sizing, shaping, features, and what everything does. This runs off of a simulator with an autopilot that flies in the background. We can run the autopilot through its paces and do all the kind of fun stuff. That's really impressive. I've not, I think that's the first panel I've ever seen with two separate ones, because I do spend a lot of time trying to explain to everybody how to choose. It's hard to choose that's sometimes. A, it is. They both have great strengths. They both do amazing things, uh, but different factors are more or less pertinent for different people. So we try to help them decide. Was there any one thing you'd tell somebody that's wondering, which one should I do? Uh, for the most part, I tend to find people gravitate toward the advanced, primarily for the ease of reconfiguring the screen by swiping with two fingers. People see that and they go, oh man, that's just intuitive to use. I could find every way in the world to use that. Um, the HDX is amazing for someone who's new to glass, new to flying, or definitely new to both. You can sit down in front of it and be off to the races with very little to train or learn ahead of time. So different, different shoes for different feet. Yep, I would tell you I have the same view. I think the IFR pilots gravitate more towards the advanced, yep. I know I do, yep. and for VFR pilots, the HDX seems to work a lot better. It does, it does. Yeah, yep. but they're both fantastic, and as, again, as I mentioned earlier, very, very reliable. I've never had an in-flight failure, yeah. and and personally, I want to say thanks for all you do. Okay, no problem. Kyle's the one I interface on my panels multiple this is times. Your panel right here. Really? Yep. Oh, that's way cool. Wow, no blinking lights. Not yet. Wow, that's cool. That monitor is pretty nice. It is a nice monitor. <laughs> wow. So here you can see it advanced what happened. I mean, basically, I kind of sketched out a panel at home on what I thought might work and sent it to Kyle. And Kyle uses all of his fancy uh, CAD CAM software, I would assume here, and, uh, and sends that back to you, in this case me, to approve it before it actually goes out and gets cut and then gets powder coated, labeled, and... Uh, Hopefully that's going to be showing up in my house pretty soon. It will be. That's neat. <laughs> well, thanks, Kyle. No problem at all. Thanks for coming in. Oh, thank you. Hello, and this is Jonathan Severdia. Hi, Jonathan. Anybody who calls out for any kind of tech support, sometimes panel sales, any help of any kind, they get Jonathan. I'd like to cut through that red tape there. Yeah. He's also building an RV9. Oh, so wow, that's cool. Can, yeah help from you know a builder's perspective and has a an understanding that others may not you know it's really cool jonathan i've only talked to you a few times it's, it's i don't i don't know you that well and you know what that again speaks to the quality of the product that i've been kind of mentioning throughout this presentation is it's just wonderful what you guys do here everybody goes at different paces you know we get some customers we send the panel out we never hear back from them again other people need more hand holding but everybody you know we, we try to get everybody to the same place there so if you need more help don't don't be shy give us a call send me an email wonderful don't suffer <laughs> I don't know how you suffer with these things you guys make. They're just wonderful. We want our customers yeah. to succeed. So. Yeah, it comes through very much. Thank you. Thanks for all you're doing. So there you have it. The phone's not even ringing right now. <laughs> no. Yeah, that was nice.